All right, let's keep going on the trail. It's beautiful out here. Onward. Towards the Dumbarton Bridge. It's a gorgeous day. So like I was saying earlier, there comes a point on the Bay Trail that the paved road turns into a dirt road. So if you're on a road bike, don't come out here. You'll probably pop a tire, but <laughs> if you did, if you did this trail on your road bike and you popped a tire, it'd probably still be worth it. It's beautiful out here. Nothing stops us on our trek. <laughs> I think this is considered the shoreline trail. Which to me, I think, probably goes all the way out to Mountain View shoreline. If that's what this is called, I'm guessing I could take a dirt trail through the bay waters like this the entire way to Mountain View. So we'll see a little bit more, but for now, <laughs> look how pretty. It's just us out here. Some birds that I still don't know the names to. So if you know the names to any of these things that we see on the way, Write it in the comments. Help me learn this stuff. I'm spending too much time outdoors and not studying the birds. I think these are geese, right? Let's make some new friends. Hey guys. Hi, nice to see you. <laughs> Don't worry, be happy. Hi, honey. I'm guessing that one in the back was the male, and that's the female. Beautiful views. If you're a photographer and you haven't been out here, I don't know what you're waiting for. You can take photos all day. It's just, I don't even want to stop filming because this is so beautiful. Ay, ay, ay. Who leaves trash just in the middle of this beautiful trail? Where does that come from, come on, guys? It's not even windy at all. You could see the American flag over there on that pole. Just hanging low. No breeze at all out here. If it sounds windy on my bike, it's because I'm blasting through these trails on my Trek Excalibur 8. <laughs> Graceful dismount. Beautiful. Out towards San Francisco. The peninsula. Redwood City. Menlo Park. Dumbarton Bridge. Crossing into Newark. Onward. In life, we're full of so many choices. Which path to take? Continue straight or when in doubt, turn right. I don't know what the name of these trails are out here, but I'm thinking a lot about 
U2 song, Where the Streets Have No Names. Where the streets have no names. <laughs> Pretty sure this is it. Now this is prime, prime home property. <laughs> I could just set up right here. <laughs> now nah, these are all preserved trails and I'm the only one out here. So I'm going to continue on this trail, probably I think it's about 15 more minutes before I get to the 84 and uh, Dumbarton Bridge and we'll check out the bay from that angle. But this is uh, just constantly changing with the weather. This area I see a lot more green and growth, springtime growth just in these marshy areas and the water level is a lot higher here now. It looks a little bit muddy at this point, um, but it's just really beautiful uh, to see it at different times of the year. And especially on a day like today, when it's really not that windy and uh, it's also a Monday, so I'm not, running into a lot of people. Coyote Hills in the distance. Again, riding to 84. As we trek on, we're about to get to the Highway 84 on the opposite side of the bridge is the home of Facebook, former Sun Microsystems. And Facebook is building, building, building like crazy out there. Almost every day you see some massive development on that side of the bridge. Nobody even works there right now. I don't even know why they're still building, but Maybe they're heading back into the office soon. They're sure not on the trail, so they must be working somewhere. <laughs> I love being a musician. <laughs> Definitely not your typical Silicon Valley lifestyle, but one of the best kept secrets of the Bay is how many incredible musicians there are. I was talking about the movie I saw last night, The Wrecking Crew, and those guys were all, guys and gals, were all spectacular musicians. And I see a lot of that here in the Bay Area. Just unreal talent. And I've had the privilege of sharing stages with a lot of these guys that, you know, if you play music, I really feel like the only way to get better is by playing with somebody that is way better than you. And I started playing at, like, seriously, I think at about 25 years old, where I took my training and all my lessons and small bands that I was in to a professional level. And when I stepped into some of these gigs with musicians that have toured the world with household names playing as my backing band, I really learned a lot about being a part of a group and understanding where your part has to fit in. As a guitar player, listening to all the different parts, making sure that you're playing chords that fit in or rhythms that fit in with the keyboard player and let the bass player walk a little bit while you're holding it down and sharing solos with other lead players and 
letting the drums shine, which is one of the things that I don't think a lot of bands do so much anymore. Let the drummer play. <laughs> They're not just the beat. They got so much to offer. Just like this little dude right here. Duck, duck, goose. Wow. Beautiful. Thank you for the show. Yep.